Today's video is going to show you a quick and easy way to compare improper fractions. If you have improper fractions that have the same denominator, comparing them is pretty easy, right? Whichever fraction has the larger numerator is the bigger fraction. But if you have improper fractions that have different denominators, comparing them becomes a little bit more tricky. But cross multiplication can help you accomplish that in just a few steps. So let's walk through the first one. Let's compare 72 fourths to 38 halves. What the way cross multiplication works is you're going to take the numerator of one fraction and multiply it by the denominator of the other fraction and vice versa. So in the first example, we're going to look at 72 times two. And that answer is 144. You're always going to put the result of your cross multiplication next to the numerator of the fraction you're multiplying. So we multiply this numerator, so it goes on this side, 144. Now, second one, we're going to multiply 4 times 38, and that answer is 152. Now that we have that computed out, 144 is less than 152, right? So what that means is that 72 fourths is less than 38 halves. Pretty slick, huh? So let's try another one. Let's look at 16 thirds compared to 20 fifths. First step, we're gonna take our 16 times five, and we're gonna get a result of 80, and we're gonna put it on this side. Let me change my colors. We're gonna multiply three times 20, and that answer is going to be 60. Well, 80 is larger than 60, so we know that 16 thirds is greater than 20 fifths. Third example, 18 halves compared to 24 thirds. So let's multiply 18 times three, and our answer is gonna be 54. And change the colors, and we're gonna go two times 24, which is 48. 54 is greater than 48, so 18 halves is greater than 24 thirds. Last example, 30 fifths compared to 33 sixths. So let's multiply 30 times six, and we get 180. And let's multiply five times 33, and we get 165. 180 is greater than 165, so 30 fifths is greater than 33 sixths. That was pretty easy, huh? So what I want you to do now is try this one on your own. See if you can get 11 halves compared to 21 fourths. Leave your answer in the comment section. Good luck. If you want to see more math help videos, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Give it a thumbs up if you found it helpful. And check out my website at improvemath.com to download your free printable worksheet. Thanks for watching.